For millennia, humans have been fascinated by mysteries and conspiracies. After all, who among us hasn't had their interest piqued by a grisly murder or two? Our humble hobby of video gaming is no stranger to intriguing investigative plots, with early detective games coming as text-based adventures like Deadline and The Witness, but even the likes of The Witcher have plays doing detective work and dishing out appropriate justice. Today, we're taking a look at the most brilliant of sleuthing titles. Sadly, a top-tier Sherlock Holmes game has never materialised. Nor will you find everybody's favourite mustachioed Belgian sleuth Hercule Poirot on this list. We were hoping to see Detective Pikachu on this list, but alas, the coffee-drinking electric mouse didn't even come close. Maybe if he'd been voiced by Danny DeVito, things would have been different. As always, to qualify, a game must have received at least seven professional reviews, and this time, remakes and remasters are permitted. Put on your best dear stalker hat and get your magnifying glass ready, because I'm Superintendent Ashton from Triple Jump, and here are the 10 best detective games to satisfy the Sherlock in you. Number 10. I, The Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative, PC 88%. Six years after the events of I, The Somnium Files, these strange half-body serial killings appear to have started up again when the right side of a corpse turns up, showing no signs of decay despite the left side having been found years earlier. In Nirvana Initiative, it's up to Tokyo-based detectives Mizuki and Kuruto to investigate, alongside their eye partners Aiba and Tama, who use their special skill syncing, which is like the shortened version of synchronising but with a P. This allows them to gather useful information from persons of interest by entering the Somnium, a sort of dream world of the people in question where their testimony can be extracted. It sounds a tad unethical to me, but what do I know? Developer Spike Chunsoft also created the Danganronpa series, another franchise with some well-received detective games in its ranks that sadly didn't make the cut, but are worth checking out, especially if you enjoy the somnambulistic action. Praise was heaped on the balance of visual novel and puzzle elements, along with the stellar voice work, good use and sense of humour, as well as the engrossing mystery. And there was me thinking this game was all about how 90s grunge band Nirvana was formed. Never mind. Number 9, L.A. Noir, PS3, 89%. Heralded as a breakthrough for gaming at the time, both in terms of its visuals and storytelling, L.A. Noire really did capture the gaming public's imagination. Though some of you may balk at that statement given how wonky some of the faces appear at times, Australian developer Team Bondi's efforts under the watchful eye of Rockstar were game-changing, with accurate facial capture giving players visual clues of characters' emotions during interrogations. Protagonist Cole Phelps is a war veteran and new detective on beat in 1940s Los Angeles, investigating crimes around this painstakingly recreated created city, ranging from petty thefts to serial killings, and even a conspiracy involving crooked cops. The devs' research on the city and extensive study of the time period really shows, with reviewers feeling that the aesthetic and feel of 1940s LA was captured perfectly. Some criticism was aimed at the seemingly random or illogical dialogue choices that appeared at times, but most players and critics alike found the conversations generally fascinating and raw. The soundtrack was also praised heavily, even winning some Best Video Game Music awards. Port to multiple platforms and even seeing a VR release, L.A. Noire has so far stood the test of time, still being talked about over a decade after its original release. It's a great game, there's no doubt about it. Number 8. Return of the Obra Dinn, PC, 89%. From solo developer Lucas Pope, creator of the excellent Papers, Please, comes Return of the Obra Dinn, the winner of several awards, including the Seamus McNally Grand Prize, the main award at the Independent Games Festival. Played from a first-person perspective, players must explore the Obra Dinn, a ship that disappeared five years ago, having never arrived at the rendezvous point at the Cape of Good Hope, but that has now drifted ashore in good old Blighty. As an insurance inspector using the Memento Mortem, a pocket watch that can transport its user to the moment of death of any corpse, the job is to discover what happened to the crew and figure out why none of them survived. Who knew insurance could be so exciting? Pope created an entirely new engine to give the effect of one-bit graphics, inspired by Macintosh games, but in a third dimension. The minimalist visuals are very appealing, pleasing critics and giving the game a unique feel. Reviewers also loved the well-developed characters, intriguing narrative and the fact that it kept them thinking, even long after they were finished. Further awards included two BAFTAs for artistic achievement and game design, which we feel were very well deserved, especially when you consider the title was a one-man effort. Number 7, Heavy Rain, PS3, 89.23%. Jason! 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 
There, we said it. And now we can get on with the rest of the entry because Heavy Rain is more than just a meme. It's a genre-defining classic from the beautiful mind of David Cage and is regarded by some to be one of the best games ever made. The main goal is to save Sean, a young boy who's been kidnapped by the notorious origami killer, by playing as four characters all doing their own investigations for slightly different reasons. Sad dad Ethan Mars is forced to do a series of increasingly sinister tasks given to him by the kidnapper in order to receive clues about his son's whereabouts. While journalist Madison Page is looking for the inside scoop, FBI agent Norman Jaden is assigned the origami killer case, perusing murder scenes and questioning suspects to track down the child killer. And private investigator Scott Shelby has his own thing going on. I'll leave it at that. It's quite the contrast to the previous entries on this list, as Quantic Dream had a massive budget and development cycle, involving many, many people. The effort really paid off, and the game was lauded for the emotional impact of decisions, the writing, and the stunning visuals, even if some aspects may seem a bit janky by today's standards. Number 6. Max Payne, PC. 89.26% this classic third-person shooter hails from the fine land of Finland and developer Remedy Entertainment, and was created and written by Sami Järvi, better known as Sam Lake because Järvi is the Finnish word for lake. Isn't language fun? Undercover DEA agent Max Payne ends up in a slight pickle after becoming a wanted fugitive when he's framed for the murder of his NYPD partner. To make matters worse, he's also attempting to track down those responsible for the murder of his own family, and he ends up embroiled in a large conspiracy involving a pharmaceutical pharmaceutical company and other major organisations including the US military. Plenty of noir style antics can be found here, such as Max's internal monologue advancing the story, as well as narrated graphic novel style cutscenes. On top of this is bundles of inspiration from Norse mythology, such as the new designer drug Valkyr, which is naturally named for the Valkyries. Norse mythology? <laughs> In a game developed by a Nordic country? <laughs> How surprising! Winning a BAFTA for 2001's Best PC Game, among other accolades, Max Payne garnered a plethora of compliments, especially for its noir style and exciting gunplay, particularly the bullet time effect, which was, presumably, heavily inspired by The Matrix. Number 5. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, PC, 90%. The Ace Attorney franchise is another stellar series that just misses out on a spot on this list, but series creator Shu Takumi led the Capcom-developed Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, so in a way you could say that Phoenix Wright is here in spirit. Get it? Because ghost in the title of the game. Anyway, playing as the amnesiac spirit of Sissel, a chap who is sadly recently deceased, the player's task is to uncover the cause of his death before the morning arrives. Using the eponymous ghost tricks to manipulate the land of the living, Sissel can alter things using small blue spheres which influence the actions of living people and can aid in solving puzzles. Our ghoulish chum can even eavesdrop on conversations and is able to travel down telephone lines to the location of the person on the other end. Now that would be handy, but a bit horrifying as well. The character design, graphics, music and story were all commended by critics, but poor sales of the original DS version in 2010 meant this gem went largely unnoticed until the 2023 remaster. At least it's now being showered with the praise it deserves, even if it did take over a decade to get there. Number 4. Batman Arkham Asylum, Xbox 360, 92.34% there are some who may argue that Batman Arkham Asylum isn't a detective game. But since Batman first appeared in detective comics and does a good deal of sleuthing throughout the game's runtime, we are happy to count it. The game begins with a jolly old Joker threatening to blow up parts of Gotham City with hidden bombs if anyone tries to help the Dark Knight, whom he's trapped inside Arkham Asylum. Unfortunately for the vigilante, it gets worse, as he has had a hand in incarcerating some of the folks in the asylum, and Commissioner Gordon has been kidnapped for good measure, so old Bat's left to work alone as he attempts to rescue the bespectacled police chief. As you would expect, Batman must rely on his stealth, combat and detective skills to get to the bottom of it all. Combat focuses on chained attacks against numerous foes at once while avoiding damage, and there are plenty of fan favourite enemies to tackle including Scarecrow, Harley Quinn and Bane. Perhaps the best thing about the game is that it captures the essence of the source material, leaving players really feeling like they are the caped crusader himself. Critics particularly drew attention to the excellent combat and narrative, with many regarding Arkham Asylum as the best comic book game of all time, though sadly it just missed out on being the best detective game ever. Number 3. Persona 4 Golden, PS Vita, 94.16% 
Atlas's Persona 4 released for the PS2 in 2008, with Golden coming four years later on the Vita. Golden is an enhanced version of Persona 4 and includes the base game along with a few bonuses such as new characters, story elements and even new personas, the physical manifestation of the user's psyche which can be used in combat. Players take on the role of a high school student who becomes involved in investigating some mysterious murders with a group of friends, whether summoning personas or creating social links, with the growth of the latter being linked to the former gameplay is just pure joy. In each game the personas are inspired by different mythology and in this fourth installment the inspiration is Japanese mythology. Support for the wireless networking link of the Vita was also included so other players could help in dungeon battles. All of this led to a surge in Vita sales making this game the best reason to own the plucky handheld console. As with many other entries in this list, the gameplay, story, characters and music were all highly regarded by critics and the expansions in the golden release were all welcomed. Number 2 Batman Arkham City PS3 96% What's better than a great game about everyone's favourite detective superhero? An even better sequel, of course! In the first sequel to Arkham Asylum, the Bat is once again trapped, this time in Arkham City Prison, where he must use his detective skills to uncover a sinister plot initiated by Warden Hugo Strange. Combat, stealth and gadgets are key to solving this mystery once again, but another playable character in the form of Catwoman, who came with her own four mission campaign running parallel to the main one, was a very welcome addition, providing a change of pace and fleshing out the story somewhat. The city itself was designed specifically to accommodate Batman's swoop and glide ability, with navigation garnering huge amounts of praise from reviewers, and everyone and their grandmother feeling a great sense of pure joy swooping around the city effortlessly. Compliments were also paid to the combat as well as the soundtrack, superb voice acting and the strong narrative, just as the previous entry in the series. Arkham City received various Game of the Year awards, which is no mean feat considering it was released in the same year as the likes of the Elder Scrolls. Scrolls V Skyrim. That is mightily impressive indeed. And number one, Disco Elysium The Final Cut, PC, 97%. So here it is, the finest example of detective work ever to grace the video gaming medium, at the time of writing, anyway. Released in 2019 by Zarum, and written and designed by a team led by Estonian novelist Robert Kurvitz, the final cut added full voiceover work for the almost 300 characters, as well as some reworked and more streamlined and impactful stories. Playing as a police officer who wakes up with amnesia following a drink and drug induced bender, the aim of Disco Elysium is to solve a murder case, with partner Kim Kitsuragi and other other characters helping or hindering along the way. The world of Disco Elysium features deep lore, with the writers having created 6,000 years of history, developing multiple political groupings and religions, and each character having their own complicated identities. Set in an open world, the gameplay mostly consists of dialogue options, with occasional D&D style skill checks peppered in to keep things spicy. The depth, freedom, customization, and storytelling all impressed critics, with one even stating that Disco Elysium set a new standard for dialogue options in games. The title was nominated for multiple awards and won several, and of the 12 publications that reviewed the game, 7 gave it a perfect score, and not one rated it lower than 90 out of 100. If you have a hankering for some sleuthing, Disco Elysium is a must play.